what's up everybody I know y'all I know it's Saturday and stuff I wanted to do this video before uh, on Friday but I thought that now y'all know that Regis <coughs> Regis has left live for Regis and Kelly Regis and Kelly and I, I and it's time for him to go though man like waking up every morning and seeing this dude on ABC before the view like oh why you watch the view well I kind of do just because I, I like you know some of the videos I do I talk about real things and that's the only show that at the beginning where they talk about real issues but um and I sometimes I be watching Regis and Kelly because one thing is Regis trips me out watching waking up every morning watching Regis and Kelly every morning man you get it's like take your cup of it's like getting your first cup of coffee you starting the day off watching Regis and Kelly, man. It's like starting, it's like drinking your first cup of coffee. And since he left the show after what thirty, almost what thirty years of uh, doing the show, but being in the business fifty four years, something like that. And it's sad because he, the longest, uh, longest co-host he had was Kathy Lee Gifford. And she's been his co-host for 18 years, but got Kelly. Ended up getting Kelly, and she's been around for 11 years. And he he leaves the show, and that's a bad thing, cause I want to watch some damn Regis and Kelly, cause uh, cause you know <clears throat> you know that Kelly used to be on All My Children. Now she she ain't got no. And she ended up going on the show. She and All My Children went out. She ain't really that funny without a co-host. How she gonna how she gonna really really take over the show and she ain't got Regis there to back to bounce off of. Cause you know Regis had that chemistry with every co host he had. Now it's sad that he's gone, man. That's like kinda fucked up that she ain't got got gonna have that chemistry like she had with Regis cause you know, man, Regis had that shit. He had that spark. He had that. He had that. He had that something that she needed to bounce off of every, every morning. He said in the interview, he says, "I I don't tell jokes." He said, "I don't tell jokes." He says, "I tell stories, but I make them funny." And every time I used to sit there and watch him, I sit there and laugh my ass. Cause one thing is, I do watch Reese and Kelly, and I sit there and I watch them tell them stories, and it was so funny. And everybody keeps the, like, uh, what was it? Back in '92, Dana Carvey said something. Said a catchphrase by imitating, uh, imitating Regis. Say, we losing control here, and he never said that. So everybody took that catchphrase and thought that Regis would say that shit. And he doesn't. But I, it's kind of like I said, man. It's kind of fucked. I'm not gonna wake up every morning. Nobody gonna see Regis there because Regis made that show. Regis made that show because one thing is when he started that show it was just him and a co-host it was just him then he got a co-host that was back in the 70s 75 I think it was just good morning that was it good morning that was it then he got a co-host now this like I said man Regis made this show Regis, Regis made the show Regis made live with Regis and Kelly and you know that he used to work with a Rat Pack a guy from the Rat Pack called Joe I forgot the name, guy's name last name but it's the guy his name is Joe and the first thing he said was your talent is listen that was his talent so cause the guy was down was putting him down so much that he he almost didn't have a career. And I'm glad that he got to do Regis and Kelly and Regis and Kathy Lee for the longest time because he brought so much joy to everybody in the morning. Like I said, man, when he did this show, it was like everybody's first cup of coffee. He said, well, how are you going to compare Regis and the show to cup of coffee? Because 
hey man, everybody gets up in the morning, they watch click, there's Regis, and he's like, oh, my day is like starting off wrong, starting off wrong, and then they see Regis on TV, and he said, guess what happened to me tonight? I sat there and I went to ate at the restaurant tonight, and I got me a salad, but they gave me a spoon, and then he'd, and then he'd tell him, tell stories like that and just make you laugh. The way he told stories was so funny that you couldn't laugh. It was just so damn funny. He can actually make your morning great. Like I said, he is like their first cup of coffee in the morning. He's like their first cup of coffee coffee in the morning when you if you let's say you gotta get up and you gotta be at work at ten thirty in the morning. What you do is you turn on the TV, you get ready, put on your suit and tie, grab your cup of coffee, but you have the T V channel turned on to Regis and Kelly. <sighs> I said, I got a few minutes to watch it. And you'll sit there and you'll listen to a couple of stories that he's te- that Regis is telling you. And you, when you laugh your ass off, that you're spitting off, you're spitting out your coffee. You know your day is gonna go great because Regis made your day so damn swell. He can make your day go from fucked up to great just like that in the morning but to see him leave to see him leave this show it's more fucked up it was like when Kathy Lee get when Kathy Lee left that was heartbreaking because she's been with him for so long since the 80's but when he left it was more messed up than ever it was like losing a relative to see him walk. You're probably saying, "Well, he just the TV host. He don't, you don't know now." But none of them lasted long as he did. No morning show lasted like Regis and Kelly. See, my mother Wookie used to watch a show called Crook and Chase. I don't like the show. Because I thought Crook and Chase was a rip off of Regis and Kathy Lee. Because I like Regis and Kathy. Because I, oh man, you talking about? I laugh my ass off watching Regis and Kathy Lee, or Regis and Kelly. But man, I'd rather watch Regis and Kathy, Regis and Kelly every morning. If I watch Regis and Kelly, if I wake up early in the morning and there's nothing to watch but Regis and Kelly, I'd rather watch this shit. Not to say, well, the show is terrible. No, I'm saying the show is great. I just just wanted to say there's nothing on but that I'm going to watch that because, hey, that's the only fucking show in the morning that's, that can make me fucking laugh because he's been through a lot. And had a lot of friends. Him and David Letterman are close friends. And I'm glad that I got to see him like growing up, when I was growing up and I, wasn't, and I was drawing in school since the 7th grade, I always want to thought, man, if I ever get famous, man, my first show I want to go on is Regis and Kelly. Regis and, well, at the time it was Regis and Kathy Lee, but you know what I mean, but go on there because Regis made me laugh so damn hard. But now I was like, oh, fuck it, man, I ain't going to draw no more because I got, hey, man, because, hey, there's some something else was calling for me I got a different calling but if I ever did get famous if I I, I even thought about it before he left I said if I ever did get famous I'd rather go on Regis and Kathy Lee Regis and Kelly first instead of any other show I'd rather go on Regis and Kelly first just to get interviewed by him he said well that sounds kind of gay does it? does it no it's just the simple fact is growing up watching certain shows you go and get like, hey man, I want to get on that show. Every actor and every rapper and every singer had that one show they want to go on first. Half of them got their dream. And that was Regis and Kathy Lee, Regis, or Ke- Regis and Kelly. And he always made the guests feel comfortable because he, before they came out, he'll tell them, he says, it's going to be all right because he made them feel good. But, I'm glad that he got to do what he did was make people laugh. But I don't know what he's gonna do now. I don't know what he's do now. To me, I think he should get another show out of for real. 
I think he should get another show on ABC or CBS or NBC. And tell you just, you know what? I'm gonna tell you, say, you know what? I retire because he's something else. He's something else, man. And I was like, man, and I'm gonna tell you this, though. I'm gonna tell you this. Since Kelly is gonna be, look, I wish like this. I wish I could be Kelly's permanent co-host for real. To be honest, I wish I was Kelly. Since she, they looking for a new co-host. Hey, let my ass be the new co-host. I would love to be some calls for probably saying what Africa Jones big shoes to feel. Hey, I know man, but hey, I'd rather be up <laughs> calls than her. Hey, cause I could be funny too. But like I said, Regis will be missed by all. Cause he was funny. Even though he couldn't tell a good joke, but he can make a story funny. And I'm glad he came every came on TV every morning. I'm glad. Regis feel, Regis feel Ben, you will be missed, man. I know he ain't dead, but you will be missed by millions and millions of people every morning. Because it's going to be kind of hard for Kelly to run that show without you. That's how it is. It's going to be kind of funny for, it's going to be, gonna be kind of hard for her to run the show without Regis. But she starts a new, she starts the show Monday. With Jerry Seinfeld. Like I said, I would love to be her permanent co host on the show. This thing about Afro Joe on live with Afro Joe and Kelly. That would have been funny. AJ and Kelly. But it's alright though. But that's how it is. If you wanna if you like that idea of me going on there, just pass this video around and tell your friends about it. But it, this is like if I said I'm in the video like it's reaches you are gonna be missed like a motherfucker. Uh, well, take this. You're going to be missed like hell. I'm glad that you came to our lives. Everybody's lives every morning. Even when you was on the Who Wants to Be a Man. Thanks. Now, if you don't like this, I'm going to say this. If you, this has been Afro Joe. If you don't like this video, if you don't like this video, kiss my ass. Don't leave, don't leave a comment. Just move on because I don't want to hear your bullshit. If you like what I have to say, Leave a video response or a comment. And tell me what you think. Holler at me. Alright, peace.